Hello there, very nice to be back for another week and heaps on the movies. So we'll focus on the movies this week, not only what's on this weekend, but also a couple of biggies that I think are well worth putting in the diary into next year as well. But we'll start with the big one for this weekend and it is undoubtedly Bradley Cooper in his directorial debut and Lady Gaga, A Star Is Born. There's been a lot of anticipation for this movie. First came out in 1937 and then of course there was the Chris Christopherson and Barbara Streisand version in 1976 and now we've got these two and as we've seen in news reports Lady Gaga needed no convincing once she heard Bradley Cooper singing but perhaps the most harrowing thing is that she lost her very good friend right near the end of filming she rushed away from the set to try and be with her missed her by only a matter of minutes but her family her friend's family said you need to go and do what you do so she went back and she delivered the last song in this film and Boy, she absolutely knocks it out of the park. So that is a highlight in this film for me. I just think it's a lovely little film for this time of year. But here's a taster of A Star Is Born. Love me a good movie with big songs in it. Now, I was at the movies the other day and I saw a couple of trailers for films coming out next year. So we are getting that closer, starting to promote films in 2019. The first one is The Queen's Corgi. Now, this one hasn't got a release date on it yet other than it being sometime in 2019. It'll be a family favourite. It's an animation. It looks very, very funny. And the characters in there bear a very strange resemblance to the Queen and Prince Philip. I'm not entirely sure whether the movie makers got permission for this. Maybe they're going to beg forgiveness. Here's a wee taster of the Queen's Corgi. Oh, One royal dog will steal the hearts of the nation. So from something that's absolutely for the kids to something we're going to see in April and I got very excited about this because Stephen King's Pet Cemetery, spelt wrong, S-E-M-A, oh, something like that, uh, it came out in the 90s and it was rubbish, absolutely terrible. I think it was a made-for-TV movie, but I'd so loved the book about this. It's about a family who moved to a new life, a bit quieter, away from the city, um, but the cat sadly passes away, they bury it, and it comes back to life. I'm not actually going to say any more because I'll end up giving too much of it away, but I think the star of the show here in Pet Cemetery is John Lithgow, and boy, this will put the heebie-jeebies up you. It was a myth. Kids used to dare each other, go into the woods at night. They knew the power of that place. They feared it. Those woods belong to something else. So from Pet Cemetery, which I, I'm so excited about, I cannot wait to see that one in April, to something that's an absolute masterpiece, and I think this is not just a film, but it's a labour of love for our, for our own Peter Jackson. And he's recoloured and recolorized and restored a whole lot of World War I footage and made it look absolutely beautiful. Looks amazing, eh? So that is called They Shall Not Grow Old. And that is entertainment for this week here on The Cafe. I'm looking forward to being back next week as we start seeing some more of those end of year movies. I'm not going to say the C word Christmas just yet, but we are certainly starting to get there. So looking forward to seeing you next Friday here on The Cafe.